Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. I have a secret. Gotcha. You came here thinking I was talking about something else. I just said, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. I have a secret. I've got two major secrets. Number one is, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Oh, I have nothing to say about that. I let I let it I let a certain community know that they absolutely don't want to pick a fight with this community. Our platform is too big. Our voice goes around the world. One one word, one sentence of our voice goes around the world. I told them not to pick a fight with this community. Now, if the Jewish community wants certain voices to stop, they're going to have to call me and let and let me and let and let me reveal what I know that will make that particular voice stop. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. I have a secret. Secret number two is this. Ladies and gentlemen, many of us have been tricked and bamboozled. I'm a Christian. I'm a learned Christian. I am, if you will, a Christian scholar. And even I have been bamboozled. Not about my faith, <clears throat> not about my ethnicity or ancestry. We have been bamboozled via these Jewish Christian coalitions. First of all, let me let me give us some news at the top of the news. Um, our good friend. Amazon CEO Andy Jassy said Wednesday that the company has no plans to remove, I'm not going to use that word because that's not what it is, to remove Hebrews to Negroes from their platform. No plans. There is no plans. America has been woken up and, and that book and documentary are staying right there. And remember this, before you guys go crazy, Mr. Jashi is Jewish. That's the best part of that story. Mr. Jashi is Jewish. Uh, so, the Christian Jewish coalitions, I have to dispel something. I have a blockbuster set of information that I'm going to just keep it in my back pocket for now because it's it's wonderful leverage for for our movement and it's what the people that are require, are asking me to help them the mona and our and our and our soldiers in the streets our fire soldiers our earth soldiers our wind soldiers and our spirit soldiers in respect to what we are looking to put together this secret is great for us a brother stumbled on it actually the other day yeah last night and I said to him, bro, I can't, I can't, I can't talk about this yet, but good on you for stumbling on this information. He's, he still doesn't know exactly what I mean, a hundred percent, because I have a secret. Now, let me explain to you the bamboozling of the Jewish Christian coalitions. Usually the Jewish Christian coalitions go a little bit like this. There are very, um, impassionate Christian, um, people who have a heart towards Israel based on, I guess, a little bit of the nostalgia and the romanticism of Israel from the Christian perspective. Many Christians are very romantic, um, um, religiously romantic about Israel, which, well, which they should be. These stories that we've heard, this land that we've heard about, these people that we've heard about are, are, are patriarch heroes. Um, cause our minds 
um, in our faith to wander into, wow, I want to know more. I want to see this place. I want to discover what it is to truly um, be Israel. And so what takes place is usually these non-religious, um, secular Jewish people create coalitions with these Christian um, enthusiasts, these Christian Hebraic enthusiasts. And they try to basically um, cause them to do a number of things. Number one, let's uh, create trips going to Israel. I want you guys to bring as many people to Israel as possible. We'll help you bring them over. We'll help you. Um, uh, we'll pay the bills. We, we want to get high level, high level Christians and high levels of churches, major groups, even politicians. Let's get these people over to Israel and let them see the greatness of Israel because they are looking for um, support. They're looking for solidarity, right? The, the secular Jewish um, uh, Zionist mind. The, this is not usually coming from a religious Jewish perspective. This is coming from a secular Jewish perspective because I said the secular Jew establishes himself, affirms himself three ways. The secular Jew, a non-religious Jew. He doesn't affirm himself by the Torah at all. That's not, not even, he's not religious. He doesn't, he doesn't act Jewish. He doesn't, he or she doesn't, doesn't care necessarily about the religious side of them, period. They're secular people. Then they, they, they care about three things. They think that, and, and, and this is still happening in, in the universities of Tel Aviv and, and all over the world, people are still trying to find a Jewish gene. This is, and, and unfortunately, this, this infection, this, this, this false um, science infection has fallen even into the camps of the black community where we are desperately doing what they're doing, um, trying to find a Jewish gene where none exists. And I'm sorry to blow your bubble up. I'm sorry to dismantle some of the, the, the sacred cow dogma that you have. There is no such thing as a Jewish gene. There's no such thing as a Jewish gene. I'm going to say it a million times to you. There is no such thing as a Jewish gene. You do not need a Jewish gene to, to find your ethnicity, just like I do not need a black gene. I don't need an African gene to find out that I am black, that I am an African. I don't require it. It is a ridiculous thing for a man who looks like me to have to prove that I am a black man or an African man. It is ridiculous. It is for somebody who does not look like me. It is for somebody who does not come from where I come from. It does not have uh, the, the, the ethnic tracings of culture, of food, of, of geography. That person has to prove genetically, potentially, that they are me. But I don't have to prove I am me. I can look in the mirror and say, hey, when I go to where I'm supposed to come from, everybody looks like me. When I go to where I'm supposed to come from, people eat the same food as me. When I go where I'm supposed to come from, people have the same traditions as me. So it's easy for me to prove that I am me because the places that I'm supposed to be from, they look like me. But when you don't look like me, you need a gene. You need to have a Jewish gene. You need to prove, oh, well, since we don't look like the people of the book and since we don't come from the indigenous places and we don't have, we don't have pottery and housing and, and, and the same language and, and, and the same cultures necessarily that they have, we have to prove via genetics, modern genetics. And so the secular Jew claims genetics. Uh, the, sec the, the second thing that the secular Jew claims is the Holocaust, right? They claim, well, the Holocaust makes me Jewish. And if the Holocaust makes you Jewish, then every single person that fought, every ally that fought is Jewish too, because they survived the Holocaust too, right? They survived Hitler's Holocaust. Everybody who fought over there, if, if, if simply surviving Hitler makes you Jewish, then I guess everybody who fought with Hitler, against Hitler, and survived is Jewish. No, that doesn't make you Jewish either. And the third thing is defending the state of Israel. Again, that doesn't make you Jewish. And we see that with Demona. Their people were in the army, and they still don't want to call them Israeli citizens. So these things are the things that, that focus to make them proud. And number three is the state of Israel. And so bringing these people over to, to participate in, in, in being, in being um, part of it, the state of Israel is, is what they need. And what they do is they create programs 
various types of programs, educational programs, travel programs. They create affiliate programs where Christians are tasked and ask if a problem happens in the anti-Semitic world out there, we need you to show up physically. We need you to speak against this. So they create allegiances and therefore when something pops off, they have a crew of, of Christians that are bought and paid for to defend the cause of Zionism. And so these organizations, they promise things. This is where I, this is why I have a secret. They promise things and they want certain stuff covered up. A lot of them, a couple of them, I shouldn't say a lot of them. The two that I'm talking about have a very strong underbelly of white supremacy. <clears throat> However, when you're, when you're in love with a people, when you're in love with an idea, you don't see it all the time. But when you see how they treat us, it's not hard to tell. So, there's some organizations that have made some promises, and I'm going to ask them to honor their promises within 14 days, or I'm going to I'm going to squeal like a I'm going to squeal like a canary running from a cat. I'm going to talk about it unless they honor their promises. They've made some promises. It's over a year. It's one year and one month to the day that those promises have not been carried out. And, I, and what I've been told is that they are following this platform very closely because they know who is affiliated. And all I'm asking them, this is, this is not, this is not, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's the word? I'm not extorting anybody. This is your promise. You made a promise. And, and that promise needs to be fulfilled right now. That promise was 1.5 million in the first year and 5 million, just so, just in case you, you, you don't know if it's you, because when I tell you the deal, you understand, and 5 million to follow. Those fines, those funds are going to be used to help African Americans and African in, in America. It's going to be a coalition between, between the, between the African American, Africa, and Israel, specifically the Hebrew Israelite in Israel. And the Demona communities are going to definitely be recipients of those funds. And so what I'm saying to you, organizations, the two the night that you know of that are following me very closely, it's time to honor your deal. Because I have a secret. And I'm going to bust it wide open. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding off. I'm trying. I got a big mouth. It's hard to keep me to shut up for long. I got a big mouth. Shoot, I might not last the rest of the day. But I'm going to give you all 14 days. 14 days to honor what you have said you're going to do. All right? Clock's ticking. Because the Mona situation is about 20, it's about 20 some odd days. That gives us time to do some things for them. 14 days. And not only are you going to honor that, we're going to ask you to partner with us going to ask you to partner with us in a letter that we're going to address to the ADL. All right? All we're going to do, we're just going to, we're going to ask you to partner. Your name's going to be on that letter, right? Your name's going to be in that letter too, because they're going to leave our faith groups alone. Just like our good boy here, just like our good friend, this great Jewish businessman and CEO, our great friend Andy Jassy. Andy Jassy said, not taking it down, right? Andy Jassy knows what time it is. He knows not to play with us. He knows to get, he don't want no smoke. And those two organizations, you don't want any smoke with us. This is Del K. Branch and like, share, and subscribe. I'm coming back with a, with a bunch of videos because I got a lot to talk about. I got a secret. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. If you want me to silence the biggest mouth right now in the world, if you want me to silence, have a conversation with me. I'm going to tell you how, but I got a secret. And it's going to cost you something. Big Del. Brown skin assassin, shoot never passing. I'm just here to be your friend.